Hello everyone and welcome back to another guide for Botania. Today we'll be going over the Botanical Brewery and all the things you can make with it and the different potion effects that they can have. Now, let's just hop right into it. The Botanical Brewery is made with six living stone rock, one brewing stand, one rune of mana, and one block of mana steel. And this is what you'll get. Everything you would make out of this requires mana. So just like the runic altar, just have a mana spreader connected to a mana pool aimed at it. And when it is used, mana spreader will shoot mana to it. Now there are different ways, different uses you can use this to make. You can either make a vial of a potion, a incense stick of a potion, or a tainted blood pendant of a potion. Each of them have different, different bonuses and negatives with them. I will go over how to make each of them individually, and then I will go over each of the individual potion effects you can have. What they do, how long they last, and which one of these you can make them for. The first way is a vial of a potion. To make it, it's just like a standard bottle, but instead of glass, you use three mana glass. And this will give you three vials. One thing about this, this is similar to your normal potion that you'll be able to drink out of it, but each potion will have four uses with this instead of the standard one and done. Incense sticks apply a potion effect over an area, and to make it, you need one living wood twig, one blaze powder, and one gas tear. What I mean by this is over an area is that you would take your incense stick, put whatever effect you would want on it, and then you can place it down in the world and it will apply that potion effect over a 30 block area. Now you can't just take these and put them on the ground. For that, you will need an incense plate. To make the incense plate, you need one living wood and two living wood slabs and that will give you your plate. Now if I go in my inventory, I'll take a random incense stick and as you can see, I don't have any effects. To activate it, just take a lighter and right click it. You'll see a glow in the top right corner, you see it a potion effect and it has given me jump boost. So now I can jump all around that I want. Again, I'll go over each individual potion effect, how long they last and what they do in a little bit. And one thing to note is that after the effect is finished, the incense stick will disappear. But that is the incense stick. The Tainted Blood Pendant provides a stable and equipable version of potion effects for the cost of mana. To make it, you need one mana diamond, one gas tier, and four prismarine crystals. And this will make you a Tainted Blood Pendant. These can be worn in your necklace bobble slot, and when imbued with potion effects through the Botanical Brewery, you will get a permanent bonus of the potion effect as long as you have mana from either a mana tablet or a band of mana. These do absorb a lot of mana depending on the potion effect, so keep that in mind and they might not be the best to wear it all the time, just when you need it. To show you exactly how it works, I'm going to make a simple potion of instant health. So. To make it, I'll take my mana glass vial and I will right click the brewery. Now, if you don't have a vial, pendant, or instant stick on here, you can't place the materials needed to make anything. You must have one of those three first. Then I'll just right click with a nether wart, glistering melon, and a potato. You can see it is now being powered with mana. If I go into my inventory, take my wand of the forest, you can see the little symbol showing me how long it takes to make each, well, how long it will take to make my current potion. And just waiting for it to be finished. And pop here is my potion of mending, which will give me the effect of instant health. And that four means I have four uses. So let me hop up here for a moment. Go into game mode, survival, and oh, I'm already missing health. So let's lose it, miss it a little more. And I'll take a swig. You can see three, 
take one more. Two. So the actual potion amount on the icon goes down, as well as the number next to it is now I have two uses left. As I go over the different potion effects, I will list which items they will work with, how long they will last, and it is a thing to note that not all effects will work on all three different items. Mending provides the instant health to potion effect. To make it, you need to place a vial, then a nether wart, glistering melon, and a potato in the botanical brewery. Restoration provides the regeneration potion effect. To make it, place either a vial and incense stick or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart gas tear and a redstone into the botanical brewery. The vial will last 2 minutes, the incense stick will last 120 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Revitalization provides the regeneration 2 potion effect. To make it, place either a vial and incense stick or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a gas tear, and a glowstone dust into a botanical brewery. The vial will last 25 seconds. The incense stick will last 25 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Upsurging provides the jump boost 2 potion effect. To make it, place either a vial and incense stick or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a feather, and a carrot into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for one and a half minutes, the incense stick will last for 90 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Gills provides the water breathing potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a prismarine crystal, and a glowstone dust into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for 8 minutes, the incense stick will last for 480 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Shielding provides the absorption 4 potion effect. To make it, place a vial, then a nether wart, a golden apple, and a potato into the botanical brewery. It will last for one and a half minute. Cloaking provides the invisibility potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a snowball, and a glowstone dust into the botanical brewery. The vial will last eight minutes, an incense stick will last 480 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Owl Sight provides the night vision potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a spider eye, and a golden carrot into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for 8 minutes. The incense stick will last for 480 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Adrenaline provides the haste 2 potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a sugar, and a golden nugget into a botanical brewery. The vial will last for one and a half minutes. The incense stick will last for 90 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Fleetfoot provides the speed 2 potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a sugar, and a redstone into a botanical brewery. The vial will last for one and a half minutes. The incense stick will last for 90 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Fortitude provides the resistance to potion effect. To make it, place a vial, an incense stick, and a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, an iron ingot, and a leather into a botanical brewery. The vial will last for one and a half minutes. The incense stick will last for 90 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Magma skin provides the fire resistance potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a magma cream, and a nether rack into a botanical brewery. The vial will last for eight minutes, the incense stick will last for 480 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Vigor provides the strength 2 potion effect. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a blaze powder, and a glowstone into the botanical brewery. 
the vial will last for one and a half minutes, the incense sticks will last for 80 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. The overload potion provides the strength 4, speed 3, hunger 3, and weakness 2 potion effects. To make it, place a vial, then a nether wart, a blaze powder, a sugar, a glowstone dust, a mana steel, and a spider eye into the botanical brewery. The strength and speed effects will last for one and a half minutes. The hunger effect will last for 10 seconds, and the weakness effect will last for three minutes. Crossed souls gives you the effect of regaining health when you kill a creature. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a soul sand, a paper, an apple, and a bone into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for one and a half minutes, the incense stick will last for 90 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Feather feet will make you immune to all fall damage. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a feather, a leather, and any wool into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for one and a half minutes. The incense stick will last for 90 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Vanity's emptiness will stop all mobs from spawning within 128 block radius from the drinker's position. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a gunpowder, a rotten flesh, a bone, a string, and an ender pearl into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for 6 minutes, the incense stick will last for 360 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Crimson Shade will make mobs spawn within a 64 block radius, regarding of the light level or any other conditions. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a spider eye, a lapis, a fire charge, and an iron ingot into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for 6 minutes, the incense stick will last for 360 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Marine Allure will have the drinker catch fish faster, and it will provide loot at double the rate. To make it, place either a vial, an incense stick, or a tainted blood pendant, then a nether wart, a raw cod, a nether quartz, and a golden carrot into the botanical brewery. The vial will last for 4 minutes, the incense stick will last for 240 minutes, and it can be equipped with a tainted blood pendant. Absolution will clear any effects the players have, no matter if it can be removed with milk or not. To make it, place a vial, then a nether wart, a quartz, an emerald, and a melon slice in the botanical brewery. This will get rid of any positive or negative effects on a player, no matter how they can be removed. Now you have all you need to continue your journey through Botania. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and, subs and subscribe for more Minecraft guides and the occasional other video. But thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.